Salinas USA is not known for producing boxing talent. Instead, their claim to fame is the great American author, John Steinbeck. The inspiration for The Grapes of Wrath and Of Mice and Men originated on 132 Central Avenue in Salinas, California. These stories highlighted the struggle of the everyday man and the futility of trying to control one's destiny. It's not surprising that the same environment that birthed these stories paved the way for one of the featherweight division's best prospects, Ruben Villa the fourth. Villa going in to end this fight. I just want to be a world champion. I want to make my family proud, my city proud, Salinas, California, and uh, just take care of my family. It didn't take long for RV4 to realize that his father's agricultural business wasn't for him. In fact, his parents enrolled him in boxing at the age of five. But little did his family know that Ruben would go on to have a 135 and seven record as an amateur and become a Golden Gloves champion. It was during this time that Via met and fought featherweight boxer Shakur Stevenson. Via and Stevenson boxed four times during 2015. The first two bouts went in favor of RV4. Shakur was so upset after the second that he made the background of his phone a picture of Via with his hand being raised by the referee. But he got his revenge at the Olympic trials. In the first matchup, Stevenson won by decision. The loss put Via in the challenger's bracket where he was forced to fight every day to get a second chance. But Shakur beat Ruben in the finals. Both qualified for the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. But only Stevenson decided to pursue that path, while Via signed a contract with Thompson Boxing and Banner Promotions. Stevenson would eventually win a silver medal, while Via sports a perfect 13-0 record as a professional boxer. Via, now a budding star in the featherweight division, has bested fighters like Marlon Olea, Jose Gonzalez, and Ricardo Lopez. He's best known for his defensive style. He rocks a vicious jab that is not only patient, but equally fast as it is deadly. The Southpaw claims that he wants to be the best and is willing to fight the best in order to get there. Ultimately, he would like to mirror the career of Floyd Mayweather. If he can get out of the sport as healthy as Mayweather did, he would consider that his greatest success. The way uh, Mayweather took uh, the, the, how we got out of boxing, he didn't, boxing didn't take him out, he got out of boxing uh, healthy and uh, uh, alive, you know. Boxing takes a lot of damage on you over the years and uh, that's how I want to retire also. Ruben Villa's future will always be linked to Shakur Stevenson. And both boxers have said that they would love to set up a professional fight. That fight is something the boxing world needs and should be excited for. He's a great fighter, a great, great person. Me and him, uh, we, we talk uh, not too often, but we're, we're friends and uh, wish the best for him and hopefully we can get a fight. Uh, boxing's first, man. Uh, there's no friends in boxing because he's not going to see me as a friend either. So, you know, just got to handle my business first and then friends out of the, bo out of the boxing ring. RV4 embodies the philosophy of his fellow townsman, John Steinbeck. For the author once said, don't worry about losing. If it's right, it happens. The main thing is not to hurry because nothing good gets away. The only thing that's for certain in this situation is that boxing hasn't gotten away from Ruben Villa the fourth.